Hi there everybody, this is Stacy with Lip Candy and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to apply our Cinegents Cosmetics as far as the Make Sense Foundation goes and the practical use of our Eye Illuminator, which is one of my favorite um, products that we have in our company. Um, I will be using two different brushes to do this. The first brush I use is by Crown C456 but you can use almost any kind of brush. Um, you want something that's a little bit firm, but also soft um, and has a slight angle. Um, that's just so you can get up underneath your eye. If you have a particular brush you really like for doing your eyes, um, go ahead and try that, okay? The second brush I use is a stippling brush. This is how I actually apply my um, foundation or my CC cream when I do that. Um, and this is by Real Techniques. Um, very practical as far as cost goes, real techniques. You can see you can see the little edges here. Um, and I love this brush um, to suggest for customers simply because it's not expensive. I think it's about $9.99. You can pick it up at Walgreens. I've seen it now, um, Ulta. There's several locations besides ordering online that you can get this brush, okay? So it's not out of your range. Um, now, when I use this, first time you use it, you want to make sure you moisten it lightly so that it's not going to just absorb all of the product. So add a little bit, spritz a little bit of water to it. Okay, I've already done mine. Um, and what we're going to go ahead and use today is our, again, our eye illuminator. If you can see that, eye illuminator. Okay. And our can make sense uh, foundation. Okay. So I'm going to start with my eye illuminator and the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is my palette. I have a palette that I wear on my hand. For it at home, you can go ahead and just use um, the back of your hand. I'm going to squirt just a simple, a little bit amount onto my palette of the foundation. You can see right here. I'm going to tap my brush, pick up a little product in that, and then I'm going to go ahead and dab it into my eye illuminator actually. I mix the two together. Um, I love the eye illuminator because it's our cream, our eye cream, and I get to use it and get the benefits of wearing eye cream during the day. However, it is um, brightener, it has our pearlizer in it, so it's a little too sparkly for me. Um, I like to cut it down with my foundation. Um, now this by itself does not always get rid of super dark, dark circles. Um, that's another trick that I add to it, um, but that's not what we're going to go over today. Today it's just the simple basics of being able to enjoy the benefits of wearing eye cream during the day um, as well as in the evening. So notice I am going in the inner corner of my upper lid slightly. I'm not taking it across just to get this eye cream up here and to brighten a little bit above my eye in the inside. Um, as we get older, we tend to uh, need that brightening effect. Notice I'm only doing one side of my face as well today. Okay, so there, I put it on. Um, because it is eye cream, it is going to crease a little until I go ahead and use powder. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and let that sit. Now what I'm doing is I'm just lightly tapping my foundation, okay, onto my brush. And now I'm going to just go ahead and lightly tap it onto my face. Now our product is very light, you don't feel it. So when you're doing your face around, it's not like a lot of heavy foundations that you actually can feel it on your face. You do not feel our product. That's one of the things I absolutely love about it. Um, it is non-clogging. So it works for somebody who has oily skin. It works for somebody who has very dry skin, such as me. Uh, I love that it's buildable, meaning that you can add um, extra layers for more coverage in specific spots if you feel you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and just dab on just a smidge more. I did not do my nose, but again, I'm just showing you the techniques of applying. And do you make sure you take it down? Okay, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is bring back 
my crown brush and lightly touch under here again and blend this in. And a lot of times I'll take my finger and tap, tap, tap. You never want to drag or pull or apply a lot of pressure to your eye area. It's just like um, when applying your night cream, you want to make sure that you're very gentle with it. Uh, and just like our night cream, it's the same thing. It will dissolve on your skin with warmth. So the warmth of your skin will help it dissolve so you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. Okay. So can you see the difference? My eyes are blurry. I don't have my contacts or glasses on, so it's hard for me to see <laughs> to show you. But I just want to make sure you can actually see where it is lighter in here. Um, again, I'm not trying to cover the dark circles right now per se. I'm just giving a little bit of brightening and showing you the technique to apply. Again, this is Stacy with Lip Candy, Cinegen's Distributor 171236.